Hey everyone, this is Kagato, and I am the final boss, and welcome to another episode of Persona 3 FES. We are now continuing on to Wednesday the 27th. So let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. Are you jumping to right after school? Um, alright. Okay, so what does the schedule have for today? We get to go and spend some time with Yuko. Hey there, Yuko, let's go on a date. Hey, Kagetakun. I was wondering what I should do since there's no practice today. It seems Yuko wants to walk home together. Would you like to spend time with her after school? Mmm, yeah, sure, why not? Great, let's go have some fun. Yuko seems happy. I hope so. <laughs> Come on, Wild Duck Burger again. Wild Duck Burger. No. It's the shoe locker. What a fantastic date. Shoes. And then he threw a left hook right at his face, but he dodged it and... Uh, oh, can you hang on for a second? I'll finish the story after I put my shoes on. I wonder what she's talking about. Boxing, wrestling... Again? How childish. Oh, Yuko, do you have yourself a secret admirer? Yuko is standing by the shoe rack with a strange look on her face. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing really. It seems like something is bothering Yuko. Uh, is it not a love letter? It's the same stupid prank again. There's a piece of gum on Yuko's shelf. Ah. Phew, they're safe. It wouldn't be funny if I had gum all over my shoes. Do you know who did it? I have my suspicions, but I don't plan to confront her. Why not? Yuko seems disgusted. I would be too. I'd confront whoever did it. Then again, it's only suspicions, but whatever. I was pissed off at first, but then I just got used to it. You don't get used to things like that. I'm tired of being angry, and I'm just too lazy to do anything about it. Okay, that, that, that doesn't make any sense, Yuko. <laughs> but if I catch her in the act, I'll grab her and slap her. Yuko, you seem more like the type who would probably punch her in the gut and maybe stomp on her face a few times. You're more like Chie. I don't imagine you slapping anybody. Hey, that was a joke, okay? Don't take it so seriously. Okay, the game is talking back to me. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not like that at all, alright? Okay, fine, Yuko. I believe you. I believe you. You're feminine, okay. You left school, Yuko. Just don't reach through the screen and slap me, damn it. Actually, if you reach through the screen at all, that would actually be both amazing, frightening, and exciting at the same time. Anyway, Polonium all. He went for his arm, but then he put him in a chokehold. Isn't that crazy? I love it! You're still talking about a fight? What's going on? Is this your usual discussions? Like, hey, Kagado, let's go hang out. Hey, let me tell you about this amazing fight that went on. <laughs> From the distance between Polonium all and the school, this is a long talk about this fight. Like I thought, brains are just as important as brawn. A wild pair of females has appeared. Yuka-san! Is that your new boyfriend? No, we're not dating. He's just a friend of the team. You don't have to hide it. I'm surprised you can get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager too. Dude, she like totally called me handsome and stuff. Oh man, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Ever. You got the story all wrong, like usual. Maybe you should quit. You have to do so much running after all. It's not very attractive for a girl to be too muscular, right? Oh, really? Oh, 
Oh, stop. Her boyfriend might hear you. If you want to give it a try, I won't stop you. But I wouldn't bother if you're just looking for a boyfriend. Because being a team manager isn't easy. You won't have time to be sticking gum on the shoe rack. Uh-oh. She did confront her. <laughs> what honors gave you? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've got no clue. Of course not. It was just an example. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? No. Hey, we should get going now. Yuko uses a cues. It's super effective. The two girls have fainted. Let's go sit down. I'm sorry, Kagado-kun. I didn't mean to get you involved. Nah, no worries. Thanks. She seems happy. Yay! Now go over and reach your arm around her for a little bit. Come on! You're sitting by the fountain. It's the perfect opportunity. Maybe I should tell you the whole story. That girl with the black socks, she went to the same middle school as me. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But he was seeing her at the same time. Ooh. Sounds like a douchebag. Even though I was a victim too, when she found out, she accused me of being the thief. Sounds like she's also a douchebag. Okay, we're surrounded by douchebags. She blamed me because I was the manager of a basketball team. Does that make any sense at all? No. No, it doesn't. They both deserve... Well, they both deserve each other. They're both rotten, cheating bastards. That gum on my shelf. It was probably her. She still holds a grudge. Girls can be so unforgiving sometimes. Amen to that. I've sent maybe, what, 15 messages on my OkCupid account and haven't gotten a single message back? Girls, why for you so mean? By the way, I'm sorry they called you my boyfriend. Are you mad? Uh, Yuko, you're pretty much exactly my type, so I'm more honored than anything. Um, <laughs> how can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have used that line on? Hmm. Yeah. Pretty much everybody so far in Persona 4, and so far just you in this game. That's still quite a few, isn't it? Oh, well, moving on. When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Trust me, I've been there before. You know, if people see us sitting together like this, they may think we really are dating. What, aren't we? I don't mind, though. Get closer! Your relationship is stronger now. I'd chalk that up as a success. Wait a minute, somebody wanted me to do something, but I'm gonna have to wait until the next one starts. Your power to create the personas of the Strength Arcana has grown. I have yet to run into one of those. I took some extra time to fuse a couple of personas to help me out with some of these social links. I still haven't run across a Strength one. Well, there's Valkyrie, but she's level 11. I haven't gotten there yet, so I need to level up a little bit more. It seems Yuko is curious about you. Actually, now that I think about it, a lot of you are asking for me to do some kind of an action-packed episode, so... Maybe I should do that. At the end of this part, I'll just do, like, some kind of battling through Tartarus thing and level up some. Please don't tell Kaz or anyone else that story. You're the only one who knows, Kagado-kun. By the way, that guy I was going out with, I broke up with him a long time ago. Apparently, he's still recovering from the hospital. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You probably figured that already, huh? Uh, see you later. Yuko ran away. <laughs> you decide to go back to the dorm. But first, you hit up the arcade. House of the Dead is calling to you. 
The core munching game of the ages, House of the Dead. Welcome back. Alrighty, let's go on ahead and save. Wait a minute, I don't need to save just yet. I'll do that later. Is assist! The team pulled through! Is this a newscast on courtroom drama? I mean, if you take it out of context, it does kind of look like something out of a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 situation. He called his assist, and then his team pulled through! Phoenix Wright lands the objection! It's fingering everyone! In seasonal news, the tourism industry in Okinawa is gearing up for another year. Though the weather is colder this year, many tourists are still enjoying the early island summer. Alright, um... Oh, I'll take a piss. Speaking of courtroom drama, I haven't done one of those in a while. And there's so many topics for the entire series in general that I should bring up. Ooh, I should probably break out the PS3 and play some. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. You feel refreshed. Your condition has become great. They're great. Yeah. Feel good. Yeah, just... Mm, feel good. Mm, yeah, mm, Metal Gear. Uh. Speaking of which, I should probably do that game too. I haven't played Metal Gear in a while. What the hell? Hey, it's me, Kaz. You got a minute? Uh, sorry, busy. Oh, really? All right, later then. Sorry, Kaz. I'd hang out with you, but uh, or I'd hang out with you, but I have a date with a virtual woman on Sunday. That's actually quite sad to say. And yet, it reflects the real me all too much. Lonely. I'm so lonely. <laughs> What's up, dude? So, what do you think? Uh, about what? About Fuka Yamagishi, of course. I've given up hope that she'll join our team. Dude, her face looks so familiar. She does look kind of weak, but it only makes me want to protect her, you know? Ah, so Junpei likes the more frail protect person. Uh, frail, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak the English language anymore. He likes the frail kind of girls that he can protect. I'm more of a fan of the girls that are also badass and kicking ass and would team up with me instead of sit back and be like, oh, save me! You. You seem happy. I am happy, probably thanks to you, dude. We well, should hang out again. I have something to tell you, man. Oh, let me guess. It's more stories about your so-called relationship with this teacher that you probably think is going much faster than even you anticipated, and yet it probably is not going anywhere at all, probably doesn't even exist. Yeah, sounds about right. I don't like the Kenji. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, what voice did I give this guy in Persona 4? Um... Okay, taking a look at- taking account his looks, and the fact that he does the ee hee hee, he does kind of look like the nerdy scientist type, so that's what I'm gonna have to go for! Alright, here we go! <clears throat> I'm Edogawa, in charge of integrative learning! <laughs> in this class, I'll ease all your worries! It's psychotherapy through magic! All right, everyone, be very, very quiet. No talking. Silence! Were you surprised to hear me bring up magic? Yes, I kind of was. Where are you going with this? It's a recent proposal, so it's not well known yet. Recent proposal? Magic has been thought of for many, many, many millennia. Here it is. Those who believe will be saved. Study hard, and I can beat your weak minds into shape. <laughs> now then. Let's get on with our first lecture on the basics of magic. Who can use magic and who cannot? That'll be our starting point. Are we really having a lecture about magic in a school? I don't know whether or not to call this the most awesome class or the most sorry class. Eh, it's both. Some of you might think that magic lets you do absolutely anything. Pulling pranks on people, hurting your enemies, 
If that's what you think, then you'll never learn magic. It's true of both Eastern and Western sorcery. Those with wicked hearts will either be powerless or be driven to ruin. Those, there's one more thing that can't be forgotten when learning magic. That is a master. You should aspire to become as good as your predecessors, especially if you're studying difficult magic. Oh man, this guy just goes on, doesn't he? If you don't have a master, learning the black arts will be impossible. When you begin your training, you'll have to live in two worlds at once, the real world and the dark realm. So, kind of like a link to the past? If you can't distinguish between the two, you're headed for a certain disaster. That's why the presence of a master is of the utmost importance. With that in mind, I'll move on to meditation, a standard practice in magical training. I've got some handouts for you. I am not entirely sure what is going on. I'm actually quite intrigued. Please continue. <laughs> now then, it looks like it's time. If you're interested in the subject, try meditating before to going to bed. Slowly recall the events of the day. It's like traveling back through time. If you could do that flawlessly, you may just make a good magician. <laughs> That's all for today. You stayed up and listened to this cockamamie lecture. Your academics has somehow increased. Maybe it was a learning spell. <laughs> Let's just get out of class. Class is ended for today. Let's see, what am I supposed to be doing? To ah, the schedule says I finally get to go on my first date with Chihiro. Uh, hi. Um, the other day when you um asked me out, I've been thinking. Um, is it okay with you? Would you um like to want to walk home together or not? Oh, okay. Um, then I'll go get ready. That was easy. <laughs> ah, the shoe lockers again. Oh, joyous of joys. The wonderful shoe lockers of all things romantic. Is it, um, really okay? I mean, um, I'm glad you're willing to, but... Just relax. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not very good at talking to boys. There are a lot of guys in student councils, so uh, I should work on that. Oh, school is almost out. Come on, let's go. Chihiro really isn't my type at all, but she's so adorable, I just feel like hugging her every time I see her. <laughs> in front of the door. Uh, Chihiro? Chihiro, you okay? Chihiro? Chihiro? Chihiro! Please respond! Chihiro! Somebody! Help me! She's going into apathy syndrome! Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about what to say. I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Kagura-san. Hmm, a topic I might be interested in. You know what? No, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> But I couldn't think of anything. This is... Iwatodai dorm, right? You live here, Kagado-san? My house is in the other direction. Really? How rude of me not to ask. Don't apologize, please. It's my fault. I knew we were going in the wrong direction, but I didn't say anything. I was too busy trying to smell your hair. I mean, uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, making time for me, Kakudo-san. Chihiro seems to appreciate your company. Your relationship is stronger now. Rank up! And once again, I completely forgot to do it. Oh well. Even though it's late, whatever. Social link, go! There. <laughs> You've established a new social link. Hooray. It 
seems Shihiro is taking a liking to you. However, you're still just casual acquaintances. Or so you think. Well, um, excuse me. Oh, I've gotta hurry home, gotta hurry home. I got this urge, I can't take it anymore. Welcome back. Hmm, that's strange. The number of victims seems to be on the rise again. Apparently, the decline was only temporary. Huh? Does that mean that no matter how many shadows we defeat, more will just keep on coming? If that's the case, then what's the point of fighting? If we do nothing, then everyone will eventually join the Lost. Our efforts have prevented the crisis from escalating. Uh, I guess you're right. You know, it's kind of creepy when you think about it. If we couldn't use our personas, then the whole city would be crawling with zombies. Oh, you mean like Pittsburgh? Okay, let's see what's on the news. A 40-year-old man was sent to the hospital last night. Apparently, he caught his dick in the windowsill. According to the doctors, he was a victim of apathy syndrome. Oh, uh, oh goody. Okay, let's see what's going on tonight. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Before I do anything, let me take a look at the schedule. Okay, today's the 28th. I'm going to see just right away what is going on here with the evening thing because I'm surprised that the game hasn't said, go on ahead and do your evening social links yet. Oh my god. I could have started them at any time. The evening social links have no set time, just do them in the evening. Okay, I'm going out! Bye everyone, I'm going out for a while. I'm going out at night on the town! Polonia Mall! Alright here. Game Panic Pharmacy. I should probably come back here later and stock up on some stuff. What's this guy doing? He looks all weird. It's one of the lost. Victim of the apathy syndrome that's causing such a stir. You cannot get a meaningful response out of this person. Nah, it's not apathy syndrome at all. He's just, um... Meditating, right, Mr. Edogawa? Alright, there's supposed to be, like... Something around here. Nope, not yet, I haven't unlocked him yet. Well, our Herber Gerber! <laughs> I haven't unlocked this dude yet. Well, damn it. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, what about this guy? <gasps> it's Mr. Tanaka! Yeah! Wait, 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 what? Excuse me? Okay. I was alright with that when a girl said I was handsome, but now coming from a middle-aged man! Hanging out in the mall by himself! I'm almost tempted to read this in the gayest voice possible, but I know that Mr. Tanaka is not like that, so I'm just going to skip reading this line. He'd be perfect for the company image. Oh. I see. You want to exploit my face! But he's just a high school student. I trained him, though. The man seems to be mumbling to himself. You seem to have caught his attention because of your charm. Hello there, young man. How would you like to have your dreams come true? I have a golden opportunity for you. Tell me more there, Mr. Tanaka, sir. I'm always saying this to you, so don't tell anyone, okay? I can make you rich, guaranteed. All you need is 20,000 yen, and your investment will multiply by 10. No, 100. And the best part is... You don't have to do a thing. You'll become fabulously wealthy while you sleep. Just give me the 20,000 yen and I'll take care of the rest. Well, what do you say? I don't have 20,000 yen, but okay. You don't have enough money. What? You don't have that much? 
Well, I'm afraid the deal is off then. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to make 20,000 somehow. Wait, is the police station open? No one is here. Officer Kurosawa must be on patrol. Fuck you. I forgot his name already. <laughs> Kurosawa? Was that what his name was? Okay, so... I got uh, Mr. Tanaka, but I need 20,000 yen to start it. Hi guys, I'm home. I'm gonna go upstairs and write about how poor I am. You wouldn't understand what it's like! What are these two doing together? Junpei, are you kissing his ass again? We're saving the city, right, senpai? Uh, of course. Why, why would you ask such an obvious question? Well, you know... I was just thinking it might be nice to get some kind of thank you. From the ladies, at least. Of course, Junpei! Well, I wouldn't count on getting any appreciation from anyone, since no one knows what we're doing. I know that makes things harder. But if we don't fight, the more people will become victims of the shadows, like the lost. We are making a difference, though. We're making the city more peaceful. Just remember that. Alright, um... The selfish part of me wants to be like Junpei and be like, I'm in it for the ladies! And then I remember I'm forever alone. Uh, but, of course, I'm doing it for the safety of the city. Sleep earlier. Man, I gotta make some money to even just start that thing. Arg! Alright, so what is my schedule for today? Oh, we've got more gossiping! You overhear another conversation. I heard from a younger guy in my club yesterday that the 10th graders are teasing someone. What? Like bullying him? Poor kid, what's his name? I don't know. All I heard is that it's really a problem. I thought our school was peaceful too, but I guess it's not so much. The first bell is rung. So, we got bullying in the school. Could it be Kanji? I sure hope it is. It's not. Ugh. Mr. Edogawa, why are you here again two days in a row? <sighs> here we go with more magic. Quiet down, class. It's time to begin today's lecture. Progredio ado rukem dead. Progredit ad rukem expecto patronum. Mr. Ikoda left work early today, so today's lecture will be a little different. He looked fine, but he claimed he didn't feel well. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Stop giving me that look. Make sure you know what you're eating, everyone, before you take a bite. You never know what you might find in there. <laughs> anyway, last time I related some basic magical knowledge. Today, I'll add to that with a discussion of meditation. But first, let's review the ways that magicians meditate. To heighten your creative impulse, the source of all magical power, carefully observe a real-world object and recreate it in your head to the last detail. That's the Western style, but I'd also like to talk about the Eastern style of meditation. The Western style is pathetic. We Eastern style people are superior! Meditation was actually refined in the East. Like I said, superior! Modern magicians adapted Eastern meditation for their own original style. Straighten yourself, take a deep breath, and concentrate. Those are the basics of Eastern meditation. You don't need much to meditate. All that's required is a quiet environment and some time. It doesn't take long, but you should be a lot at least 15 minutes for it. Now for your practicalities. First, your posture. Choose a position you're comfortable in. Sitting cross-legged is easy for most, or you can try the full lotus position called the that thing. You can also meditate while sitting on a chair. Any position will work as long as you're relaxed. Once you can breathe comfortably, cover your 
cover or close your eyes and relax. Why is this man still talking? <sighs> now that you've fully prepared yourself physically, let's focus on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, perhaps a large tree or the moon. If you wish, it could even be the god of your own faith. However, do not empty your mind. That would actually be foolhardy. You run the risk of losing control of yourself. You might end up stripping yourself of all of your clothes, running up and down the hallway, screaming at the top of your lungs. You feel tired. <laughs> I do feel tired now that you mention it. I'm tired of reading this guy, but <sighs> stay awake. So what have we learned? To practice meditation is to imagine some sort of symbol. The Christian practice of prayer, for instance, is a heightened form of meditation. The imagined symbol is there for other reasons besides helping the meditation go smoothly, however. It can be very dangerous to plume the depths of your consciousness. By keeping a clear symbol in mind, you can avoid plunging over the edge. Go ahead and try meditating if you'd like. That's all for today. <sighs> you stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your throat has now gotten in pain. <coughs> I need to take a drink. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna let the game take over from here. I need to rest my throat a little bit. So, hope you guys don't mind if I'm a little quiet for a few seconds. I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. And... She freaked out and started crying. <laughs> like it was the end of the world. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Oh my god! I have never laughed so hard in all my life! <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Don't they have anything better to do? Huh? Where's that voice coming from? What voice? I don't hear anything. What's wrong, Maki? Maki! Uh, uh-huh. Are you okay? Sorry. What were we talking about? I can't stand girls like that. They're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away. She's crazy. Get her committed. She's hearing voices. Class is ended for today. Okay, what do I got going on today? Temperance. The economics room? Oh, okay. So I'm going down to the economics room. Wait, home economics. Somehow I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's telling me I should not be going down there. Because I can't remember fully, but just in the back of my mind, I can sense something is amiss. Well, let's, let's go in. It's a home economics room. Considering your academic ability, you are easily able to translate the note on the door. It says, Join Fashion Club. Meetings are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today just happens to be Friday. Fashion Club? Would you like to enter? No! But I have to! Fashion Club? Oh, great. Okay, I knew that this was a bad idea. <laughs> Is it too late to back out? <laughs> okay, here we go. Yatta! <laughs> I don't want to do this now. Yes, this is the best sewing I have done! The foreign exchange student you met at the bookstore is busy sewing. You slowly, very slowly, back away and reach behind you, grab the door, slowly open it, and leave! I swear to everyone, you were never there. <laughs> I 
For the sake of the let's play, I'm going to talk to him. Oh! Konnichiwa! Hello, Kagado-sama! I haven't seen you since the bookstore. For some reason, some Italian snuck its way into that accent. <clears throat> you came! <laughs> I am very happy! I... <laughs> what are you doing? I am learning the art of sewing. This is Tanoshi. Very fun. Would you like to try? I'm horribly butchering, butchering the French accent, so any of you that are watching this that are French, I am so sorry. I'm American, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. I haven't heard enough French people talk. Seems Bebe wants Bebe. <sighs> sure, why not? Because I so totally freaking love fashion and everything. Hondo! What the hell is Hondo? Really? Arigato! Thank you! I was sad because I did not have any Tomodachi friends since I came to Nihon, uh, uh, Japan. But now I am happy! You have joined Fashion Club. Whoop de frickin' do. You now understand Bebe a little better. No. No, you don't. You still can't understand a damn thing he's saying. Uh, temperance. I miss the child daycare temperance. <laughs> I got this dude instead. Well, look at the time! Well, then, Kagato-sama, goodbye! Uh, oh, by the way, I was wondering how you bid farewell in, uh, na Nihango, uh, Jap Japanese. Let's see... Um... Sayonara is technically really goodbye, but Johnny, That means see ya! So, Johnny, What could... Waka waka waka! I understand! Johnny! You decide to go back to the dorm. <laughs> Somebody save me. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, wow, I'm already in 40 minutes in. Well, it looks like this is gonna be two parts before I go over to Tartarus, huh? Oh, the news! The news! Water leaking from the nuclear power plant's cooling towers! The water has tested and found to be radioactive, but fortunately, it did not leave the plant. Oh man, I want to go over there and take a dip and become a superhero. Or a mutant. I don't know, it could happen. Okay, Junpei, what do you want? I'm curious. Dude, my persona is getting stronger. It's really good at physical attacks, but its skills don't really change that much. Is that why my grades are so low? Hey, I know you. I didn't know you had skills too. <laughs> I was joking. <sighs> now I'm depressed. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Don't you just hate bullying? Yes, yes I do. Yeah. I get so mad when I hear about someone getting bullied. I wonder what would have happened if I chose the other one. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want Yukari to be mad at me. She'll probably hit me with her gun. I do not feel the need to be pistol whipped tonight. Banana phone. Oh my, hi Yuko! Hi. Hi. Yes, yes, very much yes. No, what's up? Are you free next Sunday? Let's let's do something together. Uh, I want to. I really do. Yuko is completely my type, and I have to turn her down because I have to see a virtual girl instead. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe some other time. Yuko hung up. She seemed disappointed. I'm disappointed too! 
What will you do when you're turning him down? <laughs> Sleep earlier. <laughs>